Okay, so here is a quick review and first thoughts on two tabletop mini tripods. One is actually actually a discontinued model. And I was originally going to get the Coleman. And I ended up getting a teapot by Trek Tech. And then I ended up purchasing a Chinese brand. I believe it's pronounced Celine's. It's a Celine's or Celone's SE Mini tabletop tripod. Now, let me first show you the one that's made by Trek Tech, the teapot. Now this one is actually discontinued. It costs a little more than the Coleman. The reason why I picked it up is because it actually has an extension tube part right here. As you can see, you can extend it. The actual ball head can come off. I'm not really a big fan of the ball head. It comes with these rare earth magnets that you kind of have to screw to the bottom base of your camera. And uh, that's their sort of their patent quick release. I had to add a rubber gasket because it kept scratching the bottom of one of my cameras. Now. The footprint of this is really nice because it can hold a lot more weight because it's a lot wider than the Coleman. Now this is the one that I personally like, the Celine, the lens, however it's pronounced. It comes in like a neoprene uh, case here with a clip on it. I mean, the string here is just as cheap as the one that came with the teapot. It, it broke on its own naturally. Uh, it's a nice case, but the actual uh, string is just cheap itself. So as I pull this out, it's a little snug. And then it comes with another one that actually covers the actual ball head itself, which is actually an Arca Swiss tripod head. It is an off-brand head, but it's not bad at all. Now, these legs actually have about three different positions that click up that remind me of a Benro, a Gitzo, or something like that. And now it's three different positions, and one is more narrow, one's a little medium, and one's a wider footprint. And the center column actually does lower or raise just a few inches or so which is pretty nice now this gives you a much sturdier tripod in person is this one is definitely more hefty and as you can see here when i when i tighten the pan it doesn't wiggle but when i loosen it it definitely has a little give or play into that head right there now i don't know it's just the head itself it's not the actual body or how it's connected but it's once you tighten it it's fine it just doesn't pan very well now with that being said you can take the ball head off and replace it with any tripod head you want and the tripod head that's on there's a small to medium head so they're pretty common amongst your typical tripods you would use for a dslr or such now you can see how much smaller that footprint is when i want to make it more narrow and it's just more convenient to put on the table or tighter spaces. I find that the teapot is a little just too wide unless you're using it outside for some reason. I tend not to even put a camera on it anymore. I pretty much just put accessories on my Zoom or something like that when I have a lot of room somewhere. Now here's the Arca Swiss. This is with a uh, Dive DSR and a 51.2 with a Arca Swiss L bracket. And you can see as it, it holds it perfectly fine on the medium width of the leg setting. It just doesn't pan the super good, but at least it has a panning option separate from the actual ball head movement. So here that is, and you'll see me just take it off and change the orientation to the horizontal or landscape or orientation and it works just as good or better. So what I've also tried to do, I have some Benro monopods. I took this small, I believe it's an S8 or is it S6 or S4. The S4 head is actually a light, not the best quality tripod head, but you can actually put this on top of here and just take off this uh, Arca Swiss head and it works really fine as a sort of a hi-hat substitution, I should say. This is how you pretty much undo these legs. You have, if the twist is very hard to explain unless you have them in person. I don't know how long or sturdy that's gonna be over time because it doesn't seem like the most reliable solution to open tripod legs not really sure what these legs are made of if they're metal aluminum or, or whatever it is but they're, it's, it's still pretty sturdy uh, even with the legs fully out like that in the, the stands at this tallest position like this, it holds my, my camera very sturdy where I would feel very comfortable uh, leaving it standing on its own. And the actual, it, it extends to about a foot and a half. And this is, like I said, with the medium. And this is, uh, yeah, this is still a medium footprint. And it still works very well. So I'm really, really happy with this. It only costs around $50, give or take a few dollars up or down. The Trek Tech, I believe, or Teapot, when I bought it, I think I paid around $40 for that. So to consider it $10 more, this is definitely worth it. You can take it just as much or easy as, as the other ones or the Coleman. The only biggest difference is the Coleman and the Trek Tech. You can literally slide it right into your pocket. And this one you probably can't do as easy, but it's still very compatible and uh, very convenient to take around. Definitely recommend it. Thumbs up. Very surprised when I bought it. I purchased this, this particular version on Amazon, but I've seen similar versions and different brands that make sort of the same concept. 
and uh it more than likely it is the same tripod just rebranded it comes in different colors i believe a blue or a red i just picked the tradition maybe even a gray or something like that i picked just a traditional black if this is helpful at all please hit like and subscribe for more information please visit www.howtoandreviews.com till next time